Hi guys, welcome to daily technical forex forecast for the 6th of October. My name is Andrew Lyshineski, I am a technical analyst at Truthfix. And traditionally, we begin our forecast with the EURUSD currency pair. The price fell down sharply yesterday. The fall was supported by large volume, with a, which is a great bearish signal. Moreover, the new level of resistance was created at 1.1716, 1.1732. And if we take a look at our volume chart, here we can see that this level contains increased volume. And the moreover, we need to point out that uh, huge accumulation, huge volume accumulation is at the top of the chart now and it acts as a resistance. So given all these factors, we should give preference to short positions for the euro. We can enter the market after the resumption of the fall of the price perfectly if this move is supported by increased volume. Uh, here we can open short positions. A stop loss should be placed a little bit above the level of resistance. The potential of the deal is 90, 100 pips. So for the euro, short positions are in priority. The pound. The price showed a significant fall, uh, fall yesterday. The fall was supported by large volume too. Also, you see that pretty large ask delta, uh, bid deltas was uh, was there. So it's uh, one more bearish signal. Moreover, we need to uh, note the appearance, the formation of the new uh, levels of uh, resistance uh, the first one it's 1.3184 1.3204 the second one is 1.3124 1.3145 let's take a look at our volume chart here we can see that both levels contain large volume and given the sharp fall of the price and the uh, presence of these two resistances I advise you to consider opening exceptionally short positions for the pound. Uh, we have two scenarios. The first one is the smooth upward correction of the price and the resumption of the fall. Uh, then we can open short positions. A stop loss should be placed above the level of resistance 1.3124, 1.3145. A potential of the deal is around 150 pips. Uh, the second scenario is the uh, upward correction of the price and the breakout of the first resistance, but then the, uh, the price resumes falling, especially it will be a more accurate signal uh, if uh, the price falls uh, on increased volume. Uh, in such a case, we can open short positions here. A stop loss should be placed above the resistance number 2. It's 1.3184, 1.3204. In such a case, the potential of the deal uh, will be a little more uh, larger. It's 1.180 pips. Sorry. So for the pound, short positions should be in priority. The yen. The price fell down, then grew up. But overall, it's still trading in the consolidation right now. So our previous scenario remains the same. We have the resistance 113.1220. And we need to wait for the price to break it out. The breakout should be supported by large volume. It will be a more accurate signal. And then we open long positions. A stop loss should be placed below the breakout volume bar. A potential of the deal is 120 pips. So for the Japanese yen, long positions after the breakout of the level of resistance. The Canadian dollar. The price grew up yesterday. The growth was sharp as it was suggested and the volume during this move was increased. So all these factors tell us that the uptrend for this currency pair continues and of course in such a case we should consider exceptionally long positions. More we need to point out the level 1.2519 uh, uh, a little bit, uh, the price was fixed a little bit above this level and continued its growing, so it will be a pretty good place for putting our stop loss. So the scenario is next. We need to wait for a smooth downward correction of the price on small volume, then we can open long positions. A stop loss should be placed below the level 1.2519 and then we wait for the continuation of the growth of the price. The potential of the deal is around 100 pips. We need to wait for this correction in order to obtain a better entry point and as a consequence a better risk profit ratio. So for the Canadian dollar long positions are in priority. The Australian dollar. The price has finally broken down the lower boundary of this local consolidation. The breakdown was sharp. It was supported on uh, by increased volume. So all these 
are great bearish signals more where we uh, need to point out the new level of resistance in 0.7811 this level contains pretty large volume so it will be a great place for uh, for our stop loss uh, now we need to wait for a smooth upward correction in order to get get a better uh, price for entering the market and then we open short positions and wait for further continuation of this fall uh, a stop loss should be placed uh, above the, uh, the level of resistance with a little margin a potential of the deal is up to 70 pips so for the Australian dollar short positions are in priority and our last instrument is gold the price fell down sharply yesterday the fall was on increased volume but unfortunately if we take a look at our volume chart we can see that this uh, the volume was spread across the move so uh, we can't point out concrete volume level but still given the uh, local downtrend given the fall of the price on increased volume we should give preference to short positions for the year uh, for gold we can enter the market after the smooth upward correction and the purpose is the same as for the Canadian and Australian dollars we need to get a better entry point then we can open short positions a stop loss should be placed about yesterday's maximum and then we wait for the continuation of this local downtrend a potential of the deal is up to 130 pips so for gold short positions should be in priority let's take a look at the sentiment of the market today this indicator confirms all our deals except the Canadian dollar so you see that all our scenarios are confirmed uh, but if we talk about the Canadian dollar as I told you before long positions should be in priority even despite that this indicator shows um, almost 50 50 value we should give preference to long positions so overall there is there are plenty of good scenarios and good deals on the market so I advise you to wait for good entry points and then open new positions uh, also if we talk about the best deals the euro and the pound should be in focus today so for today is all thank you guys for watching hope this forecast will be useful for you see you next week bye bye